Rolling. Hi, my name is Josh. I'm a student at JTEC. Today we're going to go over power flow on a manual transaction. The way it works, when you engage it, first key the power comes in through your input shaft, which is this shaft right here. It comes in, engages your synchro to your first gear, locks it in first gear, spins it, pushes the power to your pinion gear, out to the ring gear, out to your axles. The same goes for second gear. All it does is moves the shift fork and synchro up to engage second gear, which is right here. It goes back down to this gear, to your pinion gear, to your ring gear, out to your axles. And then same for third gear. Moves this synchro down, engages third gear, spins the bottom gear to your pinion gear, to your ring gear, out your axles. And of course, fourth gear comes in your input, over, synchro engages fourth gear here, power goes down, over, to your pinion gear, to your ring gear, out to the axles. Now fifth gear is a little bit different. What it does is it comes into input shaft, up to this gear, engages your fifth gear, shoots power straight down from your input shaft, fifth gear, down to your pinion gear, to the ring gear, and out. Reverse comes in, pushes power through your, your uh, input shaft, moves your reverse idler and your idler gear, which is right here, moves them up, engages it, sends power down to this gear, over to your pinion gear, to the ring gear, and out the axles by changing directions of the shaft. That's my video. Thanks for watching.